Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make this background. Open a new document. Now go to the Symbols panel. If you don't have it open, go to Window and select Symbols. For this project you can create your own symbol or you can use one from the presets. Just click on the Symbol Libraries menu icon, select Nature and choose the one that you like. Click on it and this will place your symbol into the Symbols panel. I'm going to use a symbol of a leaf I've created before. Click on the symbol to select it and close this window. Next select the Symbol Sprayer tool. Click on it, hold and let's separate this panel from the rest. Now select the Symbol Sprayer tool, click on the artboard, hold and move your mouse to start spraying the leaves. You can notice that all the leaves look very uniform. We want to change this. To do that, double click on the Symbol Sprayer tool and let's change the scrunch, size, spin and screen to user defined. Now spray the leaves again. We can still modify our symbols with the other tools. Let's use the Symbol Shifter tool. Click on the area where there are many leaves, hold and drag to distribute them more evenly. The Symbol Cruncher tool will do the opposite. Let's undo it. Now let's use the Symbol Sizer tool. Just click on the symbol that you want to make larger. Or pressing down the Alt key Click on it to make it smaller. If you want to make just one single leaf smaller, press the left bracket key to reduce the size of the cursor. And then, holding down the Alt key, click on the particular leaf to change its size. With the next tool, the Symbol Spinner tool, you can rotate the leaves. And again, to rotate just one single leaf, change the cursor size. Click on the leaf that you want to rotate, hold and drag the mouse. And we'll use one more tool, which is the Symbol Screener tool. This will change the opacity of the leaves. Just click on the one that you want to make lighter. You can always go back and add more symbols or make any other adjustments. Next, we'll add a background. Let's lock this layer and create a new layer. Now select the Rectangle tool and draw a rectangle from this corner to this one. Next, we'll add a gradient to it. It's a simple light and dark red color gradient. And let's change the direction of it. Now we'll remove the background layer underneath the leaves layer. To do that, click on the layer 2, hold and drag it below the layer 1. Next, we'll duplicate the leaves layer. Click on the symbol set layer, hold and drag it to the create new layer icon. Now, let's lock the top layer and we'll modify the bottom layer. Let's move it up. Now go to the transparency window and change the blending mode to soft light. And of course you can adjust the position and rotation of those leaves. Now 
Next, we will make one more copy of the leaves layer. Let's lock this layer, select the bottom layer, and again, let's move it up. And this time we'll change the blending mode to overlay and the opacity to 40%. And again, let's rotate them and shift them around. Next, we'll add some style to it. Go to Effect, select Stylize and choose Drop Shadow. And let's do the same with the above layer. You can leave it as it is, or you can add text to it. Add some more leaves. You can place one of them over the letter I, just use your imagination. And finally, we will create a clipping mask. Go to the Rectangle tool, draw a rectangle across the whole artboard. Select All, then go to Object, Clipping Mask and choose Make. Thanks for watching, bye bye.